coming against the enemy and run him out of town. I'm really expecting that uh, there will be such a major move of God in Long Island, New York that will influence the city and on into the rest of the nation that this place will be renamed or, or at least nicknamed the Lord's Island. Can you imagine such a thing as you look out the window and experience what we're seeing in the culture today? But God is about to do a major work. And as I study uh, history down through the years, I find some patterns that God has done major things in New York, maybe on a 47 to a 50 year pattern. With Billy Sunday have been, having been here in the past, and D.L. Moody, a number of them through the years, and, uh, and uh, Lamphere in, in 1857 that started the prayer meetings right before the financial crash that uh, occurred in those times. And Billy Graham was here in 1957 in the Madison Square Gardens and had a major uh, uh, ministry. Well, if you go with the 50-year patterns, we're at 50 years. We're 50 years past 1957, and God's wanting to do a new work in New York City. The question is, who's going to be a part of it? Who's going to step forward, and who's going to be missed? Another pattern I see is the 100-year pattern. You know, in 1801, there was the Cane Ridge uh, revival in Kentucky. Thousands of people came and was converted to Christ in those days. And then we had Azusa Street in 1901, 1905 in California. Well, I believe it's 2001 uh, revival time in New York City. Are you going to be a part of it? Are you going to let it pass you on by? I think so many of us are passive. We're waiting and just kind of believing that a cloud will come over and that everybody will get concerned about sin and be uh, confessing our sin and turn to God. Well, I believe in that type of revival, but between now and the time when the move of God and the cloud comes over, I believe in a personal revival where the scripture says if we'll repent and turn from our wicked ways, that God will do something. God wants to do a work in this place. And somehow he stirred me up, just a common boy from the ranch, uh, 1,600 miles away to come to town and just, I just tell people, I'm just here to brag on Jesus. Jesus is the answer. Whatever your need in your life today is, if you'll submit to the Lord Jesus Christ and get into the Word of God, God will give you an answer and He will set you free. The Scripture says Jesus said you're free and free indeed when Jesus sets you free. There's lots of people in jail, in penitentiaries, that they're not free, but there are many people in the body of Christ and even some pastors that habits and vices and pornography and various addictions that we're still in prison. Yeah, you can go to the grocery store or the beach, but you're in bondage and Jesus wants to set you free. Let's look at a scripture over here in 2 Chronicles 7.14 that uh, many of you can quote. Uh, this scripture over here, you know, I, I see so many... Uh, uh, bumper stickers about God bless America. But when I get in the scriptures, it seems to me that it's time for America and God's people to bless God. And when God uh, sees that we repent and we come on his timetable, come his way and humble ourselves, then God can begin to work. But 2 Chronicles 7 and verse 14 here says, If my people, seems to me that word if means we have a choice. We either may yea or we may Hey, go either way we want to go, yes or no. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. It says it's about my people. You know, the trouble in the land today is not the former president. It's not the gay agenda in the land. It's, it's in the church house. Really, the Bible uh, doesn't say a lot about church membership or, or uh, praying a prayer, but it talks about being a disciple. So the issue in the country today, is, as God has burdened me, is what are his people and his leaders, the pastors? How are we relating to God? If my people, which are called by my name, that's you and I, church brother, born-again man, sister, shall humble themselves and pray, we need to humble ourselves and acknowledge that we're in great need and we have turned away or we've drifted away from God a little at a time, but we're a long ways off track. And pray, it says you humble yourself first, then you pray, and then you seek His face. You know, the scripture says if we seek after Him, He will let us find Him. It's my move first. Then He says, 
He, we want, he wants us to turn 